Now, of course, um, the airport is being very cautious about what they are saying. They are obviously keeping very quiet about the inc incident and until we can find out a bit more. Um, I am, as you said, at uh, Guangzhou Bio International Airport at Terminal 1. This is where the flight was supposed to land at 3.05 p.m. today, but of course, uh, it never arrived. Uh, at the moment, the airport tells us that uh, most other flights are taking off as scheduled, but we do know that China Eastern has canceled and grounded all flights uh, involving the Boeing 737 to 800 planes. That's, a, that's the type of jet that we know is involved in the crash. Now, we know the plane left Kuiming at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon, and according to flight tracking sites, the, the plane stayed in the air for about an hour before it lost uh, contact with control tower here. Um, and the plane is just about six years old, and, you know, it's, it's the predecessor model to the Boeing uh, 737 MAX uh, jetliner, which is, you know, still grounded in China. Uh, so, obviously, more questions are being asked about the plane itself and what really uh, mm -hmm. caused the accident. But right now, uh, there's a lot of the questions, and, you know, at the, the airport, the, the mood is obviously very somber because accidents like this are very rare. And what has the accident affected airport operations? Because looking at your backdrop, it seems everything is going as normal. Yeah, that's right. Um, well, if you can see from the backdrop, um, these are the black shields, T1 emergency. Uh, these mm -hmm. are the shields that uh, the airport has set up to basically uh, protect uh, the families uh, okay. from the media limelight. Um, I don't know if you can uh, hear um, earlier uh, from from the camera some of the families crying uh, mm -hmm. through those walls. It really just breaks your heart. Um, you know, obviously uh, for humanitarian considerations, the airport is protecting them um, from um, any media inquiries at this mm -hmm. moment. Um, at the moment, we also hear, we also know that obviously China Airline, China Eastern, uh, has grayed out its logo on the uh, Weibo site, and it's and it made its uh, official website black and white, also in a sign of war mourning in this very difficult time. And as you said earlier, President Xi Jinping has uh, called for a uh, full-on investigation into the accident so that something like this never happens again. And responders, uh, as my colleague uh, Ho Wei has mentioned, are on the way, and are, some, of, some of them are already on site. And we know that Guangdong has also sent quite a few responders, hundreds of firefighters, uh, uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the crash site, including some medical staff.